In this guide, we'll go over all of the actions the ninja learns from level 50 to 90 in order. We'll go over how each action is meant to be used, and when applicable, the recommended way to use it. We'll also summarize changes to the rotation at level 60, 70, and 80. In the final summary, we'll take time to outline both an opener and general rotation, as well as cover stat priorities. Please be aware that this guide assumes you have some preliminary knowledge as listed here. Relevant videos can be found in the description or the top right corner. Before we go through new actions, let's briefly cover changes introduced with Endwalker as well as 6.1. Shadowfang has been removed and Chikuchi's animation has been made even faster. Assassinate is learned at level 40 as an OGCD for extra damage. The cooldown of Assassinate aligns with Trick Attack, so you should try to use it during the Trick Attack debuff. Additionally, Trick Attack's debuff now only affects your own damage. Instead, Mok now applies a damage increasing debuff that the entire raid benefits from. This does not really change how you use either, but it is worth keeping in mind. Throwing Dagger now no longer cancels your combo, so it is safe to cast in between combos if you have to go out of range. In addition, combos last a long time now before they fade. The roll action Feint now also reduces magic damage in addition to physical damage, so it can be used to blunt big magic attacks too. Finally, Ninjutsu changes. Kutan's duration has been reduced to 1 minute. Due to potency adjustments, Raiton is now always better than Doton on single target. Also, regarding the trick where you could place Doton and then hide for some extra free damage at the start of a fight, Hide now deletes Doton, so this strategy is no longer functional. Now then, at level 52, you learn the weapon skill Hakke Mujinsats, which is the step 2 of your AoE combo. You should use this AoE combo in place of your single target 1-2-3 combo when there are 3 or more targets. Additionally, Hakke Mujinsats also extends Futon's duration by 10 seconds, saving you ninjutsu charges. At level 54, you learn the weapon skill Armor Crush, which is an alternative combo finisher. While Aeolian Edge does extra damage from the back, Armor Crush does extra damage from the side, and while Armor Crush does slightly less damage than Aeolian Edge, it extends the duration of Hutan by 30 seconds, capping at 60. Keep in mind that Armor Crush does not apply Hutan, so make sure to plan using Armor Crush regularly enough that you keep the buff running. If Futon is below 30 seconds duration, make sure that your next combo finisher is Armor Crush. A small optimization you can do if you for any reason cannot reach the back of your target but can reach the side is to use Armor Crush regardless of the Futon buff duration. Alternatively, you can use True North to bypass this issue entirely, but the important part is that Armor Crush does more damage with the correct positional than Aeolian Edge does without the positional. At level 56, Assassinate permanently upgrades to Dream Within a Dream, which hits 3 times for its damage, effectively more than doubling the damage that Assassinate did. This does not change how you use it, but fortunately, Dream Within a Dream does not lock your position during the animation. At level 60, you learn the weapon skill Horaijin. This is a recovery or backup solution tool, as it is by design a damage loss to use instead of your 1 2 3 combos. Huraijin applies a full Futon to you without spending an ninjutsu charge, so if you can't apply Futon and hide before the tank pulls, you can always just use Huraijin and save the ninjutsu, delaying your opener by just one GCD. If you mess up and lose Futon throughout a fight, it is better to use Huraijin than Futon. Since level 50, your single target and AoE combos have been fitted with ways to extend Futon. This does not really change your opener, but is super helpful throughout the course of a fight. Aside from that, Furaijin is introduced as a backup solution when Futon falls off or if you don't get to apply it before fighting begins. At level 62, you unlock the popularity, I mean the Ninki gauge. Whenever you use a regular GCD, including throwing dagger, you gain 5 Ninki, up to a maximum of 100. You also learn the ability Hellfrog Medium, which spends 50 Ninki for some AoE damage. If possible, try to save as much Ninki as you can for whenever you apply Trick Attack on single target to get more value out of the damage bonus. On AoE, it is better to weave Hellfrog Medium whenever it is available. At level 64, you learn the trait Enhanced Shukuchi, which resets Shukuchi whenever you cast Raiton or Katon or Hyoton, but don't use Hyoton. This does not really change how you play, but it is very helpful for mobility. At level 66, Mug is permanently upgraded to also grant 40 Ninki on cast. 
Try your best to be at 60 or below Ninki when using Mug so none of this value goes to waste. Aside from granting extra Ninki, this upgrade doesn't change your rotation. At level 68, you learn the ability Bahava Chakra, which is a single target alternative to Hellfrog Medium. Bahava Chakra is better on 1 to 2 targets, and on 3 or more targets, you should continue to use Hellfrog Medium. This further increases the value of stockpiling Ninki for trick attack bursts. At level 70, you learn the ability Ten Chi Jin, not to be confused with the individual mudra abilities Ten, Chi, and Jin. When cast, you must not move or it cancels preemptively. During Ten Chi Jin, when you use mudras, you also automatically instantly cast an ninjutsu that appears from your current combination, enabling you to cast a single mudra ninjutsu, two mudra ninjutsu, and three mudra ninjutsu in quick succession. There are two common sequences depending on what you need, one for single target and one for AoE. Let's start with the single target sequence. Ten, Fuma Shuriken, Chi, Raiton, Jin, Suiton. This enables you to follow up Tenji Jin with Trick Attack, although normally you would prefer to use Trick Attack before this big burst, this issue is resolved in a couple of levels, so don't worry too much about it. For AoE, the sequence is very different. Jin, Fuma Shuriken, Ten, Katon, Chi, Doton. Here, it is important that Ten Chi Jin is used in close range to the enemy so Doton is placed correctly. There are of course other combinations you can make, however, these two are the most useful for the two different combat scenarios you will typically face. The ninjutsus Hyoton and Huton should generally be completely avoided when using Ten Chi Jin due to neither being particularly useful in the middle of combat. Ten Chi Jin should be used on cooldown, and it should line up with the damage bonus from Mug consistently, which is more important on single target of course, but still useful on AoE. When using Ten Chi Jin on AoE, make sure Doton is placed with it instead of spending a regular ninjutsu charge on that. Since level 60, you have unlocked the Ninki gauge, enabling you to stockpile some extra damage for bursts or general attacking with Bahava Chakra or Hellfrog Medium between your GCDs. Remember that you must not weave OGZDs while you're weaving mudras. You also learn Ten Chi Jin, enabling a quick sequence of three mudras of increasing complexity. The important part is that Ten Chi Jin cancels early if you try to move during it, so watch out for that. For a new opener example, start with Huton and Hide. Then weave the mudras for Raiton, and just before the mudra buff runs out, cast Raiton, Spinning Edge, and weave Mug and Ten Chi Jin. Then fire off Ten, Chi and Jin in that order. Then follow up with Gust Slash, Weaving Kasats and Trick Attack. Aeolian Edge and Weave Dream Within a Dream and Bahava Chakra. Then finish by casting Raiton twice back to back. At level 72, you learn the ability Mei Sui, which allows you to consume the Suiton buff to generate an extra 50 Ninki. This is mainly useful since you typically want to have Trick Attack up before using Tenji Jin, which means you will have an extra Suiton buff you cannot use. Now you can use it for Mei Sui to get an extra Bahava Chakra cast. This new ability allows you to optimize the opener a lot. Let's take it from the top. After Hide, start instead with the Mudras for Suiton, wait till the last moment, then cast Suiton Weaving Kasats immediately, then Spinning Edge, Gust Slash and Weave Mug and Trick Attack together, then Aeolian Edge Weaving Dream Within a Dream and Bahava Chakra. Then cast Raiton twice, followed by Tenji Jin, performing indeed Ten, Chi and Jin. Immediately after the Suiton cast, Weave Mei Sui, and then Spinning Edge and Weave a final Bahava Chakra. At level 74, Shukuchi gets an extra charge, enabling you to use it more frequently. Your step 2 and 3 single target combos also get a potency boost, but this does not change your rotation. At level 76, Kasats improves certain ninjutsus while active. In particular, Katon turns into Gokamekyaku and should be used on 3 or more targets. It takes priority over Doton, so at this point you should never use Kasats on Doton. The difficult part about this new upgrade is that it upgrades Hyoton to Hyosho Randyu, which, as a reminder, is cast with Ten Jin or Chi Jin to do an absurd amount of damage. When Kasats is active, you should use Hyosho Randyu over Raiton. This does mean the first Raiton in your opener after Aeolian Edge should be Hyosho Randyu instead. Hyosho Randyu is stronger than Go Kamekyaku on one or two targets. At level 78, your single target combo finishers each generate an extra 5 Ninki. 
This does not really change your rotation. At level 80, you learn the ability Bunshin, which at the cost of 50 Ninki makes your 5 next weapon skills to extra damage. It also adds an extra 5 Ninki on each of these weapon skills when used. This should be used on cooldown, even though the cooldown will mean that it often will be used separately from your other damage boosting cooldowns. To fit it into your opener, weave it after Mug and weave Trick Attack and Dream Within a Dream after Aeolian Edge instead. You won't have the Ninki for the Bahava Chakra anyway. Since level 70, Mei Sui and Enhanced Kasats have improved the way you can work around ninjutsus further. Additionally, you now generate even more Ninki, and Bunshin both improves your Ninki generation while it is active, and boosts your weapon skill potencies. Let's go over the opener as it is now. Start with Futon and Hide, then ready Suiton and cast it at the last moment, weaving Kasats. Then Spinning Edge, Ghost Slash and weave Mug and Bunshin. Then Aeolian Edge and weave Trick Attack and Dream Within a Dream. Then cast Hyoshu Ranryu and then Raiton, followed by Ten Chi Jin, performing Ten Chi Jin. Immediately after the Suiton, weave Mei Sui and begin your 1 2 3 combo and weave Bahava Chakra. At level 82, Bunshin is upgraded to turn into Phantom Kamaitachi when used, which can be used once per Bunshin. Phantom Kamaitachi is a weapon skill that does a lot of damage with an AoE component. It also generates Ninki and extends Hutan. Every time you use Bunshin, this should also be used. In your opener, use Phantom Kamaitachi right after weaving Bunshin and delay Trick Attack to a late weave, pushing Dream Within a Dream to the Aeolian Edge you should use after Phantom Kamaitachi. At level 84, your single target combo finishers generate a further additional 5 Ninki. Also, your Spinning Edge and Ghost Slash gets a potency boost. Neither of these traits change your rotation. At level 86, you learn the pseudo ability Hollow Nozuchi, which automatically activates when you have Doton placed and cast either Hakemujin Sats, Katon, Go Kamekyaku, or Phantom Kamaitachi, essentially when you cast an AoE GCD. This does not change anything in how you play, but does make Doton a lot more powerful in AoE scenarios. At level 88, Meisui is upgraded to cause the next Bahava Chakra you cast to have a potency of 500. It is unclear from the tooltip, but it only affects one Bahava Chakra. This does not change how you use it though. At level 90, Raiton is upgraded to grant a stack of the buff Raiju Ready. You can have up to 3 of these, but using a melee weapon skill that does not spend Raiju Ready stacks will cause you to drop all of the stacks immediately. You also learn the two weapon skills Forked Raiju and Fleeting Raiju. Both of these actions spend a Raiju Ready stack, where Forked Raiju additionally dashes to your target while Fleeting Raiju just does the attack. In most cases, you will be using Fleeting Raiju rather than Forked Raiju. At any time where you plan to use a single target weapon skill like Spinning Edge or Aeolian Edge while you have Raiju Ready, instead use Fleeting Raiju. Aside from this, the rotation is unchanged. Now, to round off, let's first talk about an opener, followed by tips on general rotation, including AoE adjustments, then we finish off with a brief talk about stat priorities. Up to 13 seconds before combat starts, prepare the mudras for Hutan, and then 8 seconds before combat starts, cast Hutan and hide. Then 6 seconds before combat starts, prepare mudras for Suiton, and 1 second before combat starts, cast Suiton and run towards the target, weave Kasats as you do. Start with Spinning Edge, and if you intend to use a Tincture, a so-called Burst Potion, this is the time. After that, Ghost Slash and weave Mug and Bunshin, and use Phantom Kamaitachi, late weaving Trick Attack. Now use Aeolian Edge and weave Dream Within a Dream. Then do Hyushu Ranryu, followed by Raiton, and then weave Ten Chi Jin, and do Ten, Chi, and Jin, weaving Mei Sui immediately after the Suiton cast. Then use Fleeting Raiju, weaving Bahava Chakra, another Fleeting Raiju, and Bahava Chakra again. Then do Spinning Edge, another Raiton, and finish the opener with Fleeting Raiju. This then leads to the general rotation. While Trick Attack is late weaved in the opener, both Trick Attack and Muck should be weaved as soon as possible outside of an opener. To weave Trick Attack quicker, as well as stockpile ninjutsu charges more effectively, remember that you can use Suiton up to 20 seconds before you need it. 
This can also enable you to bring one ninjutsu into your trick attack burst window and sometimes generate an extra charge during it. Similarly, you can cast Kasabs a long time before you need it. Just be aware that you need the few seconds to weave the mudras you need to use your Shuranryu before the buff ends. Enter these trick attack burst windows with as much ninki as you can, but remember that Mug generates 40, so make sure to make space for that. The buff from Kasats, as well as Tan Jijin, Mei Sui, and Dream Within a Dream should all preferably be used after Mug and Trick Attack, and then you use any ninjutsus remaining on Raitan, and then fill with fleeting Raiju. When doing your 1-2-3 combos, make sure to do Aeolian Edge from behind and Armor Crush from the side. If for some reason you cannot be behind your target, you can either use True North to alleviate it, or use Armor Crush, even if some of the Hu turn duration will go to waste. Also keep in mind that Trick Attack also does more damage from behind, so it is most important to keep True North for that. If your burst is coming up shortly, make sure to use Armor Crush such that Futon will stay up for the full duration of your burst, which lasts around 20 seconds. If you mess up and lose Futon, remember to use Furaijin to fix it, rather than using the Futon Ninjutsu. Outside of your burst, you should still use Bunshin on cooldown, and make sure to make use of Phantom Kamaitachi when it is available. Every so often you will also have extra ninjutsus, which mostly should be used on Raichun, and followed with fleeting Raiju. For AoE adjustments, a bunch of things change on three or more targets. You should use your AoE combo instead of single target, and due to the introduction of Raiju, Katon and Doton should be used on three or more targets. Doton should be up before using Katon to make use of Hollow Nozuchi. It is not really worth using Suiton for either of Trick Attack or Meisui. Bahava Chakra should be replaced by Hellfrog Medium, and you should use Kasabs on Go Kamekyaku, and for Tenchi Jin, use the Jin Tenchi combo instead. Remember that this place is Doton, so if you plan to use Tenchi Jin, don't spend an Ninjutsu charge on Doton, use Tenchi Jin first. Finally, Mug, Dream Within a Dream, and Bunshin can all be used the same way as on single target. Now, regarding stat priorities, in almost every single case, item level is more important than the correct secondary stats, so always pick the gear piece with the higher item level and thus most dexterity on it. After that, Ninja really likes the common critical hit, determination and then direct hit priority. Critical hit scales better than the competition, and while determination and direct hit scales nearly equally well, because direct hit scales worse when raid buffs are introduced, determination tends to pull ahead. The only benefit Ninja sees from getting skill speed is getting a minuscule amount of extra Ninki and GCDs over the course of a fight. In general, you don't want any skill speed if you can manage it. However, do remember that higher item level is still more important. Having the perfect stats on your gear is not that important outside of the most cutting edge of content, as long as your gear's item level meets the challenge you are facing. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have any questions or anything to add, please leave a comment down below. This guide also concludes my long journey through job guides for all main combat jobs in Final Fantasy XIV, regardless of how much of the journey you joined me for. Thank you! Now, we can look at more general guides for the future, and if this is something you're looking forward to, you can subscribe if you haven't already to get notified when I release a new guide. In addition to my reminder posts here on YouTube, I also leave reminders on my Twitter if you prefer to get those there. Now, to finish properly. Fun fact, ninjutsus used to be entirely OGCD, meaning that you had to triple weave to perform right on time and quadruple weave for things like Doton and Suiton. This could cause issues even for the fastest players with the best connections, which is why ninjutsus were changed in Shadowbringers.